Hello students, welcome to in 5 minutes. Now we will start with our type 7, that is a new topic, orthogonal curves in complex variable. Now orthogonal curves is nothing but, we need to check here whether two curves are orthogonal or not. So if f of z is equal to u of x comma y plus i of i into v of x comma y is an analytic function, then the curves u equal to c1 and c2 intersect orthogonally so we need to check this i'll just prove this so i say let u is equal to f of x comma y and that is equal to c1 and v is equal to let us consider one more function phi of x comma y and that is equal to c2 so then we can say if we find direct differentiation dy by dx of at u equal to c1 so we can write as dou f by dou x divided by dou f by dou y so students you should have this knowledge of partial differentiation for this so we can write minus of dou u by dou x the whole divides by dou u by dou y in the similar way when you write dy by dx at v equal to c2 at the second curve so again you can write so this should be minus so minus of dou phi by dou x divided by dou phi by dou y so which i can write as minus dou v by dou x the whole gets divided by dou v by dou y so now since f of z is analytic so i say since f of z is analytic function then you can say we know that ux is equal to vy This is nothing but I can write here if you if you write this is nothing but ux divided by uy into vx divided by vy. So we can write here ux can be written as vy divided by uy can be written as minus vx into vx divided by vy. So hence we can say this is nothing but minus 1. So we had proved that, we had proved differentiation of both curves is minus 1. So hence we can say that a slope is minus 1. That means I can say that both curves, hence u is equal to c1 and v is equal to c2 intersect orthogonally. So so this was this was the where we proved that u and v when have different function or a different curves they intersect orthogonally then i can also say that there is we need to check that if one curve is given can we find family of curve so what we need to check exactly here orthogonal trajectories of the family of curves given by u equal to c so we have seen that if f of z is u plus ib is an analytic function then curves u equal to c1 and v equal to c2 intersect orthogonally so i say if f of z which is nothing but u plus ib is analytic function then the curves i can say u equal to c1 and v equal to c2 intersect orthogonally that is u equal to c2 is a family of orthogonal trajectories of the family of curves given by u equal to c1 so we can say here if this is the case so we can say hence to find orthogonal trajectory that means the second curve 
orthogonal trajectory of u equal to c1 or you can say v equal to c2 we need to find that is we find if we want to find orthogonal trajectory of u equal to c1 so we just need to find harmonic conjugate that means we find harmonic conjugate harmonic conjugate means that if you want to find orthogonal trajectory of u equal to c1 you need to find v equal to c2 or if you want to find orthogonal trajectory of v equal to c1 you just need to find u equal to c1 that means it's vice of versa so i can say that orthogonal trajectory is nothing but if you want to find orthogonal trajectory of u we just need to find the v part and a vice versa tha. so in the same way in my next video i'll be discussing sums on this thank you for watching video on in 5 minutes